Hi guys, Salvador here. I wanted to shoot a quick video today. I'm going to be talking about sending your prospects to the company's landing page or company's website versus actually collecting at least the email address of your prospects first. Now, I know there are many network marketers or people in my business, which is Live Good, that are sending people directly to the company's website where they can enroll. In my case, they can take a free tour and explore what the company is all about. And that is great. There are many people that are doing absolutely amazing. In fact, I know a couple of people, at least in the company, that are, have achieved a top level in the company doing just that. So they're earning at least $16,000 every month. So that is good. It's, it's just a way to, to do it. Um, I, you know, I celebrate their success. However, the way I personally think, um, it's better suited at least for my goals and for most people's goals is to, instead of sending people directly to your company's website, is to actually capture their email details first. Now, why do I do that? There is something in marketing in general, which is that people, most people, will actually need to see something seven times. And I believe over the last years, it's gone from seven to probably 10, 11 times before they actually take any action. Let me explain briefly. Let's say you send someone to directly to your company's website, you spend money to send that lead, or you send it through your hard work just by promoting on social media, that person goes to the company's website, they take a look around, and then they come out. Because the reality is the majority of people that visit your company's website are not going to sign up straight away. That will be something rare. They have to be exposed to the business several times before they actually join. So if you are paying for traffic and you're sending them directly to the company's website and at that time they don't like it, at that time maybe they had uh, the baby crying and they had to leave the website or if they were cooking and they didn't have the time to take a look, you lost that person. Now compare that to actually capturing people's emails first and then sending them to your own page where you do the pre-selling of the business or if you like sending them directly to the company's website now in this second scenario if that person for whatever reason cannot pay attention to the presentation cannot fully check out everything and they have to leave You've got a way to follow up with that person. And if you join our team, Live Good, what we do have is a 30 email which are pre-written for you, which we show you how to upload into our lead capture page. So when you send people, when, if you pay for traffic or if you send people from your social media accounts, if you send them to your capture page, it will collect the email first, redirect them to your lead good business so they can check it out where they can either pre-enroll or simply enroll as a new team member. However, if they don't do that, you know that your, uh, we've got basically an automated system, an autoresponder. At the time when that person enters their email, the, they will start receiving emails every single day for the next 30 days. So if that person didn't have the time to take a look at your opportunity at that moment in time, the next day they'll get a reminder to check it out again. And the next day. And the next day. So in this scenario, there's only two options here. Or three, I will say. One, the unsubscribe. Not a problem. I mean, not everybody is going to stay with you forever. Option number two, probably by the time they get their sixth, seventh, eighth email, they decide to take a good look and they decide to join. Why would someone join with you? Because they see you consistent. They see you are there. You are showing up every single day. They see you 
not jumping from one opportunity to another. And when people see consistency with people, they feel more confident and comfortable to actually join that person. Now, if you look at all my videos, I'm not really promoting anything other than live good because I'm fully committed to it. Now, am I doing other things? Did I do other things before joining live good three months ago? Of course I did and I still have them. But nowadays, my focus for the next few years and hopefully more than that will be live good 100%. All my other investments or other businesses I do will be taking a secondary role. Main focus is live good. So having said that, when people see you consistent and committed to one thing, they're more likely to finally join you. So think about in those terms, because you could be sending 100 leads to the company's website and you may get one sign up. If you do that on your, if you send people to your mailing list, maybe none of them sign up straight away. But you will see it over time. One month, two months, hey, even six months. You might get 10 of those people to actually sign up. So just to finish the video where oh, I am looking at this as a long-term investment, not just a short-term quick fix. Okay? And I think you should take that approach as well and the last reason i wanted to give you for doing that is that when you build a mailing list you have a following you will have the opportunity to get traffic on demand to anything you want in the future so let's imagine you come across a fantastic traffic source that you want people to know about it you can click a button and you can send a broadcast to literally thousands of people in your mailing list. And you will get traffic on demand to whatever you, you have to offer, right? Compare that to trying to start all over again. Okay, there is simply no comparison. And there is no secret that the majority of top earners in any company definitely very quickly because they had a mailing list. If you think about Jeff Amel, who is my sponsor, he moved very quickly. He's a top recruiter in the company. And he is a top recruiter because he has built a reputation. He's a legit marketer. And for years, he's been building his mailing list. So when this opportunity came along, Live Good, he was able to send a few emails and people joined like there was not tomorrow. And he's number one recruiter in the company. Number four recruiter in the company, as I'm recording this video, is my upline, my, uh, which is the sponsor of my sponsor, Edward Kate. Okay, he's the fourth recruiter in the company, and he's he's been building a mailing list for years as well. So every time you see someone moving very very fast in this industry, is because they already have a following, maybe in social media because they built their mailing list. So with that said, if you're not building a mailing list, in my opinion, you're making a mistake. And this is not to knock off anybody who is very successful sending people directly to the uh, uh, Live Good or your network marketing uh, website. Not at all. I mean, everyone is different. But in my opinion, it's a far better approach if you want to build a solid business over the long run. Not only that, and with that I'm going to finish, if you do that, guess what your people in your team are going to do? They're going to duplicate exactly what you're doing. So I hope you have a fantastic day and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.